Hi guys, welcome back to my um, munitions playthrough. This is part, um, should be part 11 now. Um, in the last part, we was doing the um, the missions outside in Gotham uh, for the Bane uh, quest. And we've we've just finished the uh, outside part of the Cape Carmine uh, lighthouse. Uh, so we've picked up the side mission from outside and now we're going to go inside uh, the lighthouse and hopefully find Bane and take him down with maybe a little help from someone I'm not sure I think Nightwing might show up maybe Try that new power out in a minute. Keep meaning to, to do it, and I, I got so used to just pressing two or three buttons because of them three powers there. Um, I keep forgetting to use this new power. That's that new uh, chain gun power there. Seems okay. Power a bit like um, Two Face's kind of uh, uh, machine gun that he does when he sprays bullets all over the place. A little bit like that, but it kind of in just one one place. Someone attacking me then. There's this barrel flying around. Try that machine gun again. It's pretty, pretty powers actually. Um, down to the next part, next set of stairs. Well, this this was part of that um, mission that we got from outside to take down these venom canisters. So to see, they've got the feet for all of the uh, story arc missions. So they're all of the um, like outside missions and everything uh, that you get as uh, optional things that you you don't have to go and pick them up, but um, they're not part of these kind of normal parts of the missions. But they're always located in the area that you're going to next. So, you know, just keep an eye out for the, uh, for the thing on the new map that shows where they are. And um, it's worth picking them up because, as you saw there, they've got feet. So, you know, and most of the time you don't have to go out of your way to do anything special or anything. You just defeat everything, and people, and do, do your normal missions as you normally would. And you'll find most of the time pretty much every time that I've done those kind of things it always ends up being um, done before you end up finishing your mission that you're always actually doing in that area occasionally the odd time maybe one time out of ten uh, you might have to stay in that area for a few for another few seconds or so or defeat a couple more things before you can go if you want to carry on with that mission 
Uh, but most of the majority of the time it is like you're done with that by the time you've done with your with your mission that you are doing in that area. So they're definitely worth doing and um, especially as like you don't really want to be coming back later on to um, to do them. Obviously I never knew all this stuff when I first started playing. I didn't know anything about skill points or anything like that. So first of all when I first got to level 30 I was like well what do you do now? Um, then I started noticing the on duty tab thing and um, started queuing up things like that and they were really really hard back then. Really hard. I mean you was lucky if you actually finished one of those instances. Um, and sometimes you was in there for like two or three hours. Uh, so sometimes didn't bother. I, I joined a, uh, a league of just three three people. They were they were friends in real life, and uh, they needed a full person obviously for the alerts. So I joined them, and um, it took us a few weeks, but eventually we, we started um, we started getting through the um, alerts very slowly. There was still a couple that were, were really hard. Um, I think like Smallville was, was pretty, pretty hard. Area 51 was the easier one out of all of them, but um, it was still taking quite a long time to do. Um, but things like Smallville and um, the uh, Watchtower uh, alerts were, were quite taking quite a long time. So, um, yeah. But eventually they kind of stopped playing and left the game, so... Um, I joined another league and um, they were really helpful. They kind of told me all about what the skill points were and stuff, and they were they were still learning as well, obviously. But they kind of n they knew a bit more about the game than I did, and um, so they showed me what they knew, and then we all learnt together, kind of thing. So um, it's worth joining a uh, league as well to uh, if you're not in one, and uh, help. Hopefully, you join a uh, friendly uh, league that will sort of tell you how more about the game you know like what you should be aiming for and uh, what, what, what best to do in certain situations and stuff and, uh, and maybe help you out with certain things as well like the uh, like the mentor missions and stuff if you if you haven't got that uh, mentors mission they might be able to help you out with those but um, yeah it's, uh, it's kind of the game doesn't feel that that much when you first start out. It sort of like feels like there's not a whole lot to do, but there is so much to do when you first start out. It's overwhelming, and especially now, now they've added so much stuff over the years. Um, there's just loads and loads to do. I mean, you'll have all the the, the missions leveling up, all of the collections to do, all of the styles to collect, uh, feats to do. Uh, there's seasonals to do. Um, then once you get to level 30 that's when you, you start doing all of the uh, instances and stuff and there's loads of that, there's like 6 tiers so far with, a, with another one coming out soon so you've got all that sort of stuff to do and there's there's always like events and things going on there's, there's legends, there's PvP there's all sorts to do so um, yeah. so it's worth joining a uh, it's worth joining a league and um, with a load of people who will help you out basically and it will make it more fun at least then you'll know what you what you should be aiming for or you, you you know they'll be able to tell you about things and then you know what you might want to go for if you want to play this game mostly just for playing legends and pvp then you know they'll tell you how, how to go about doing that and if you want to go about um, you know, doing just just the PVE stuff. Then I'll show you how to do that. We're not doing too good here, actually. And I just had to use a cola, and I wish I had done that now. I think that's messed up one of the feats, feats that you get for defeating these bosses without uh, using supercharges and things like that. And I think one of them is. Don't use cola. I don't remember rightly. And obviously, this one not not getting knocked out as well. And I think we're going to get knocked out in a bit. <laughs> this place will be your tomb. I am going to bring this old street. 
Why does he keep getting his health back? I don't remember him ever doing that before. Let's try and finish him off now. Because he's getting quite annoying. There you go. If there is any feats that you don't get um, for defeating these bosses at the time, um, you can always come back and redo these missions again. So, for instance, I could go outside now and um, not necessarily come straight back in because it takes a while for it to reset. But you can log out and then log back in. Not over. Not and then yet. you can re redo the mission again. Or come back, you know, when you're a little bit more leveled up or, or go outside and help someone else with their mission and then come back in. You could do it like that. So if you find it a little bit tough, the inside parts, just uh, go outside and see if you can group with people. That's probably the best thing to do. Uh, because there'll be people hopefully outside who are, do, who are on exactly the same mission as you. And they might might not mind, you know, grouping up. Sometimes I wonder why I stay in the stinking polluted city. The Falcones, Bane, Two-Face, Mad Hatter, that hush freak, Killer Croc, Catwoman, not to mention the Joker. There's too much competition. But I'm a businessman and I smell opportunity. So when this little gang war blows the lid off Gotham, I'm just gonna have a nice little umbrella. For when it starts raining blood. <laughs> We got one feet there. Should get a couple more, I would have thought. Maybe not. Okay, you can check those by going into that um, cup looking thing there, trophy looking thing, and go to feats, and then there's a solo, um, there's hideouts, there's all things in there, you know, sort of things to to do. Um, if you've got another character who's already got those feats, you can buy those feats with the uh, loyalty points. Um, survival. So this is where, you know, um, should be the Bane one in here then if I haven't. Oh, there you go. Complete the Cape Carmine Lighthouse Solo without being knocked out. So that's that. Uh, but I don't think we've got the iconic battle one, I think. Some of these are for the bounties as well that are outside. Uh, so yeah, should be a heart, uh, that one there. Uh, East End Lighthouse without using any consumables. So if I hadn't have used colas there, then we would have got the feet for that. But like I say, you can always come back, go outside, um, re-log, you know, log out and then log back in, switch character or whatever, disconnect. Um, and then come back in and redo the mission or wait outside the uh, lighthouse and wait for other people and group up with them and go in and it'll be even easier then and then uh, pick up all the feats and that's it so that's it for this part um, we've now taken down Bane he's all handcuffed up and uh, yeah so now we've got to leave the uh, lighthouse and no doubt have to go back to the East End Police Station and speak to someone and get another mission. And, well, to finish off this mission then get another mission. So that's it for this part, guys. Uh, we'll do that in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.